So when was ECW born? 93 is when they would switch from, um, uh, Eastern championship wrestling to right. extreme championship wrestling. And when did Paul Lee get involved in it? That's it. That's it right then. Yeah. I guess when it was, it made- um, I think the promotion was actually founded in like 1992, but then they would switch over. Oh no, they switched over in 94. That's right. Okay. So right. it was Eastern before I remember you probably remember reading about it when Shane Douglas threw down the NWA world title. Yeah. I remember that. That's when they sort of switched it to extreme. Probably need to watch some of that earlier stuff. Don't we? No, we don't. Okay. I mean, there's some, but uh, yeah, some of the stuff doesn't age all that great. Uh, okay. Well, we're doing uh, all about uh, Cactus Jack, a little p- video package here about Cactus Jack and Van Vader. But Cactus Jack is not going to face Vader here. I guess we're just talking about all the injuries he took. Yeah, and he's going to come back and face uh, Yoshi Kwan here. Play a little audio for the fans here. WCW then dispatched reporter Catherine White for updates. The famous she lost in Cleveland. Than anticipated. Oh, yeah. Cactus was not at the hospital, nor was he at home. Then, based on a clue, Catherine White headed to the streets of Cleveland, where, after encountering many problems, she finally located Cactus Jack. He was living with the homeless in Cleveland and apparently suffering from amnesia. Jack, Cactus Jack. Why do you call me by that name? Oh, I see, Swampy. He told you my name was Jack. But I'm just a simple sailor with no name. I'm afraid Swampy's a bit adrift. Too much shore leave. She attempted many times to jog his memory, even brought his family to Cleveland. But all attempts were futile. I'm sorry, but I don't know you. Uh, I wish I did. Jack, this is your son. This, This is your child to be. Jack, I'm your wife! Catherine White, after that last emotional encounter, gave up. And WCW fans figured they would never see Cactus Jack again. However, something began to happen. Race admitted to taking the bag and viewed it as a symbol of the end of Cactus Jack. At the same time, Race started receiving many packages. Was it a prank or was it really Cactus Jack? No one was sure. But on August 18th, Four months after he was carried away to a hospital, Cactus Jack made a shocking return to the ring during the Vader Davy Boy world title match. Vader and Race immediately put a price on his head and employed Yoshi Kwan to collect the bounty. Jack, on the other hand, had two things on his mind. The bag, and to get back in the ring with Vader one more time. He told the world his story, from the hospital, to the streets of Cleveland, to the ring again. I was walking down a street last week, a street very much like this. A man stopped me and said, Cactus Jack, you didn't really lose your memory, did you? And I said, no. He said, Cactus Jack, that wasn't really your wife on TV either, was it? And I said, no. Cactus Jack, then that wasn't really your child on TV then, was it? And I said, no. He said, Cactus Jack, did anyone really believe you lost your mind? And I said, yes! You see, I know for a fact that there were two people who believed it every inch. And that's Harley Race and Vader. And they didn't believe it because they were stupid because you don't win the world championship by being an idiot. No, they believed it because they wanted to. You see, Vader, I know what goes inside that sick head of yours. You're like a big game hunter, yeah. And look on your wall. You got the ribs of Sting, the shoulder of Ron Simmons, the back of Joe Thurman, and the neck of Nikita Koloff. But something was missing, wasn't it? Yeah. Somewhere over that fireplace in that home of yours, there was that space for that Saskatchewan moose. You said, bring me the head of Cactus Jack! But you can't have it, Vader. You can't have it. Yes, you put me on the shelf for a while. But all that did was earn me valuable time. Time for thoughts of you to brew like a bag of tea and a sea of hatred. And this is no sipping tea, Vader. It's brutality. And for you, it's a heavy deuce of reality. 
because when Cactus Jack comes back, keep this in mind, he's coming with bad intentions. And if they can arrest the man for the thoughts that go through his mind, then bring out the rope and hang me here. Because Vader, I got some sick thoughts, and every one of them, sir, centers around you. You tried to change my world, now we reverse roles. It's my time. And you're going to find out that a day in the life of Cactus Jack is worse than any specter, ghoul, or ghost you could have imagined. I'm coming for you. Big Bang! Big Bang! Ladies and gentlemen, the following... What a fucking package, man. I know people have been critical of that angle, but that little That's recap video, that made it cool. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I, I Why were they... I, a couple of interesting things in that video. Uh little boy that was brought to cactus to try to jog his memory. Yeah. Tim Shivani. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? That explains a lot. Yeah. And by the way, oddly enough, Tim Shivani little plug here is opening up best in brew pub coming up this week on the West end of Atlanta. What's it the called? Best end B E S T E N D best end. Like, like it's on the West end, but it's the best end. Yep. Right along the belt line, Atlanta. He's opened up his brew pub. He's been working on this. God, he's been working on this for a decade. So, and it's funny that now he was in that Vader thing, uh, and that uh, Cactus Jack package. There he was, the kid. Now he's 31, opening up a brew pub. And it was funny that you would see Cactus Jack do the promo in front of the Smashing Pumpkins posters. So, did we you should... notice that? <laughs> I did. I did. Yeah. I saw that. It was just fitting because yeah. we were just talking about them, uh, yeah. the NWA, a little while ago. Right. Right. Uh, 1036 white street in Atlanta, best end brewing company. Go see, mm -hmm. uh, all the Shivani's down there. Yeah. Dude, I, I just saw the, uh, the building with the graffiti at the bottom and then mm -hmm. the top best end brewing entrance, eat locally, drink globally. Mm -hmm. Dude, the photos they've uploaded of the food look legit, man. Oh yeah. They put that. They've got a lot of a good investors and. He's the master brewer and he's in charge of all the beers. So, and he's a great, I mean, he, he is tremendous at brewing beer. Dude. I mean, I the food I looks next level. Yeah. And I should know he's a good beer brewer because he spent many years at this house below the deck brewing beer. Oh my gosh. I, I just saw a picture of him, uh, holding up some barley on one of these yeah. images, man, this thing looks badass. I'm excited oh, to yeah. check this out. Yeah, we'd well, have to have you come over and uh, be a part of it. Hypothetically, will it be open uh, later this week when I'm over? Yes, it will be. Well, we need to check that out. Go support it. We need to go that night. That'll be opening night, I think. Hey, let me ask. Uh, I'm going to be that guy right now. All right. You reckon he's got any Miller Light in there? <laughs> I doubt it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, does anybody remember know who Yoshi Kwan really is? Um, that would be Chris champion of the great tag team that I can't even remember their name right now, but they were a sensational tag team and they, the, uh, the new breed, is what you're the new of. breed. Thank you very much. And then they were in, they were in a horrible, uh, traffic wreck, traffic crash in South Carolina during the Crockett era and never rebounded from that. But they, when the new breed first arrived on the scene, they were spectacular. They were, uh, they were inventive. They did things no other team would do. I think they were way ahead of their time. Why don't you think he made it as Yoshi Kwan? I don't, I don't. Was there uh, allegedly there was a knee injury. He was supposed to wrestle Yoshi Kwan or uh, Ricky Steamboat at Halloween right. Havoc, but he hurt his knee. Yep. Blew his knee out. That's quite the presentation though. I mean, he has yeah. a cool look. Chris do man, I, I like those kids a lot. I liked them a lot. He is, uh, go back and watch some of the old and their debut on WCW Saturday night, or it was, it was called world championship wrestling back then. Watch their debut and watch how they just could do things. And, and then the wreck that they had, I, I think if I'm right, I, I don't, I don't know the particulars, but the word was that their wreck was so bad that they both went launching through the windshield of their car and were fortunate not to be killed in a horrible wreck in South Carolina. I don't know that mean you talked about this, but he died last year. Did, Chris did. Yeah. 57 years old, August 22nd. 
he was a stroke victim. I guess he had had a few different strokes um, on his sort of dying days, last days. But he was uh, in rough shape there, life support for the better part of a week before we lost him. Not an old man, though. I mean, born in 61. That is terrible. That That's terrible news because I really liked him a lot. I, I really did. I thought uh, he had a he had potential to. What's well, Sean, he did. What's Sean potential. Royal doing now? What's that? Sean What's Royal? It? Yeah, his other his tag team partner. Yeah, What's I don't doing? know. If you know what Sean Royal's doing, tweet us at the show at WHW Monday. We'd like to catch up and see what he's up to these days. The new breed gimmick they use the uh, they use all the talk from uh, all the verbiage from Back to the Future. And, right. Uh, I, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. By the way, Cactus Jack, one of my low key, absolute favorites. I, I've started to really come around on some things. I think so many wrestling fans, myself included, we've just all, we've parroted the same thing for so long and we haven't really, or I don't think I had really taken into consideration everything before making some decisions about, and there's your finish double arm DDT Yoshi Kwan's out of here. Cactus gets the win. It's not a long match either. I think we're three and a half minutes. He's going right. to bring Vader in. I mean, uh, Harley race in over the top rope. Well, they're setting up uh, spin the wheel, make the deal for Halloween. Havoc. That's exactly right. It's going to be right. your main event. Anyway, I think, I think legitimately, I'm not saying this to be funny. I think Mick Foley is in my top 10 all time. Really? Just because I, I enjoyed so much of his stuff as cactus Jack. I enjoyed the FMW stuff. I enjoyed the ECW stuff. Most of all, I enjoyed the WCW stuff. And then the mankind character, he pulled off so fucking well. And then he did the silliness with dude love. And then just the whole Mick Foley run. When you just think about how versatile he's been, he's doing the comedy stuff. He's writing books and he had, I just think he's top 10. Like as far as overall performers in wrestling, you know, he's, he's a lot like Bobby Heenan and that Bobby Heenan wore a lot of hats in wrestling and he excelled at all of them. Right. Well, there's a lot of different categories you can uh, group wrestlers in. If you talk about top 10, most versatile, most talented guys. Yeah. Cactus Jack's in those because of all that you were just, you were talking about just now. So many things that he could do. Like, and, like and Vader, I, for instance, we love Vader, but Vader was sort of one dimensional, right? You he couldn't write a book. You're going to get one. I just mean like, he's going to come in and like, like Cactus Jack could, he could be the crazy maniac. He could be the crazy deranged murderer maniac, but he could also be a very sympathetic baby face and. Tom's a good looking man. Quandike Bill, make a chair. 